What's up guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here to introduce a brand new product from RMP, our new VersaMount. So the VersaMount is a new way to be able to mount electronics on your boat. It's a RAM style mount that mounts rock solid, will not move in rough water, comes with a three inch arm and a six inch arm, and you also have the option to purchase a nine inch arm to bring that unit up closer to you. Today's video, we're actually gonna go over the assembly of the VersaMount, a really cool innovative uh, tool that is included with the Versa mount and how to put it together so you can get it on your boat and mount your electronics. First thing you guys are going to notice when you open the Versa mount box is it's going to have some instructions. So we're going to set that to the side. This is actually going to be your top base that your gimbal bracket mounts to. Now, this is designed to fit almost all gimbal brackets from Humminbird, Lowrance, Garmin, even some Raymarine stuff, but it won't fit every single one. Again, this will work from a 7-inch unit up to a 16. So you may have to drill out your gimbal bracket to be able to accommodate this mounting bracket right here. I do not recommend drilling out the mounting bracket as much as I would say drill out the actual gimbal bracket that you've got. So look in here on the instructions. We're gonna open our bolt bag of goodies here. These are all supplied, so you've got all mounting hardware, the hardware to mount the gimbal bracket to the actual top base here. We've got the mounting screws to actually mount it to your boat here as well too. So we're gonna take some of this stuff. These are gonna be your screws to actually put through the base to go into your gimbal bracket. So we're gonna set those aside and set our base mount screws aside for the time being. What I want to focus on here is these small screws right here. Underneath your big bottom base, you're going to have the top base. So this is what we're going to start with here. So we've got our top base here. You can see by our instructions here, it goes down. So put that over the top. We're going to take some of our included Loctite. Open that up and just put a little bit there on that screw and we're going to use a four millimeter allen head and that's what we use to secure the base down now this thing is fully adjustable multiple different ways here and we'll get into that and show you everything once it's actually assembled here there are a few few critical components here that we have to make sure we get correctly or the mount will not get down very very tight at all so I'm put these four in. Two. First, I'm gonna grab our base, take the bolt. So we've got our top piece assembly right here. I'm gonna set that aside. We've got our now base point here. So got some of our Bellevue washers over here. These are very critical and we'll get to that here in a second. We've got our base with our long bolt, the number seven. I'm gonna grab one of our knuckles. Now the knuckle has a shallow side and a deep side. For this application, we need to have the deep side there. And for our Bellevue washers, you can see, see how they're actually kind of bent. You're gonna want the bottom part, the, the bent down part facing down, the edges coming up on this, and that's very critical on this point to have that. Next, we're gonna go over to our arm extensions. They come with a three or a six inch here in the box. So we give you two with your purchase here. You do have the option to purchase a nine inch extension here. Now, when we say three, six, and nine, these are the lengths of these bars right here. So six inch or three inch. For the sake of this video, we're gonna use the three inch bar right here. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take one of our 
number six bolts. Put some Loctite on it there. And here's where it kind of becomes critical again. We have our Bellevue washers. Now, in this case, this washer is going to go actually backwards. So it's going to go with the edges facing outwards from the bolt. We're going to slide that in. We're going to take our three inch arm extension. And in our box, this is actually our tool adjusting tool that we're going to use to be able to tighten everything up. And one thing I did forget to mention earlier that's very, very important that I want to mention, our base down here has actually everything you need to be able to fit into a ram mount style um, hole. So if you previously had a ram mount on your boat and you're getting one of our new, new Versa mounts, it's the same hole pattern, so you shouldn't have any issues there at all. Take our second knuckle. Now, this knuckle Again, shallow, deep. The shallow end is what's going to go this direction here towards our arm extension. Again, same thing. We're going to be using a Belleville washers there as well. Take a number six bolt. Loctite that baby. Same way. Edges facing out. Got started. Down. Then we've got a short bolt right here, number five. And that's what's going to come up through the bottom of this and tie into our base right here. So then we have our base mount. And you can see the rotation on here. You can have a ton of rotation on here to allow everything to go through. Missing a Bellevue washer. Oh. All right, finally we take our very last Belleville washer. And again, another critical component. The most critical components on here are these washers right here. So slide the bolt in the same way, edges out, pointed part in towards the bolt. It will come up through the bottom base plate. We'll set our top base plate down and we'll use our tool to tighten everything up. All right, so we have basically the completed built first amount here. Now, as you can see, we're a little loose here because this final tool is what goes in right here. And that allows us to tighten everything up and make it complete. All right, so this is our completed verse amount here, guys. Again, we've come with a three inch bar, a six inch bar, or a nine inch bar as well too. Now the nine inch is sold separately, three and six inch is included. So got our mounting screws here, all stainless steel hardware, have our gimbal bracket mounting hardware to our base plate right here. Again, you've got a ton of rotation here from the four screws at the top. You've got a rotation point here, knuckle here, again here and here. So you should pretty much be able to cover any basis here with what you want, with what you have going on. So again, guys, these are going to be live on the website by the time this video comes out. Be sure to check them out at russellmarineproducts.com. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. we got some more new cool products headed your way shortly.